Skip the navigation. It's just tide tables again. Um, tide tables, broads authority. A little bit more uh, a simple enough table, but also it utilizes a similar kind of feature to the last one with the state's revenue, where they were, uh, it was like a, a category. Um, so we'll have a look and see how we get on with this. This is the board's authority. So the next the three zero day. days of high and low tide times, column one, row one. So uh, column one. High water, column two. Water. Low water, column three. End of row, high column one. Date, row two. High water, time, column two. High water, end, column three. High water, time, column four. High water, end, column five. M and time. High water, low water, time, column six. Low water, end, columns high, 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 date, column one. Associations between this. August, row three. End of row, August. Oh, that's that's another heading for August. Mm. Mm -hmm. Two two eight row four beginning of row two two eight space T U E space two eight T H space August two two eight row August August high water time zero nine colon two zero column two high water time is nine twenty August August high water end two point zero eight column three mm. August August high water time two two colon two nine August August high water end one point nine five column five one point nine five I'm not sure what that means. What's M mean? I don't know what M means, yeah. August, August, low water time, zero three colon one nine. Presumably it's explaining the tide comes in twice during the day and comes out, goes out twice, and it, it's giving us the times. Yeah. The M, yeah, I don't know. Could be um, high tides, you've got tide comes in at high tides. Um, okay. But anyway, yeah, I can, I mean, I can associate, I would know. I'm interested, this is possibly not relevant to this test, of how they're writing the, the dates, again, the dates, the way they write 228th. Mm. For Tuesday twenty eighth, I would just write twenty eighth August or Tuesday twenty eighth or twenty eighth slash zero eight. Mm. Um, D dates are peculiar things, particularly. I mean, this in, is an American especially in the website. states. Oh, listen. Um, I, I mean, the thing about dates is, if you write, for example, this is a a, a, bu a bug with jaws that Freedom Scientific. I don't know if they've been able to fix it. The really interesting one is if you write zero uh, seven. It actually reads it as July seventh, oh. rather than July oh seven. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. So it's just interesting. There's there are all sorts of issues around internationalization and that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and there um, are. standards yeah. for all of that. Um, okay, Stuart, we'll we'll leave the board's authority or the broad's authority rather not even the board's authority. Go swimming today? No. <laughs> Won't take any chances, right? No, no. Um, okay, the next one up. We've got three more to go, and then um, accessible version. This is um, um, from is it from the Fed or something like that? Um, yes, Federal Reserve Bank. Um, some tables talking about risk weights for external rating grades or available inferred ratings for long term positions. Um, so again, I've absolutely no idea what that means. Yeah, it's, a, it's <laughs> right. Anyway, we'll, we'll we'll take a look at it. It <coughs> sounds um, suitably amazing. I mean, I suppose again, what I would say, I know I've been doing it, I did explain it at the beginning, but the whole idea of uh, the virtual viewer, Josh, in JAWS is obviously, as you know as well, is very useful. Mm. And do, things like being able to press the letter T to jump straight to a table uh, makes finding tables on a page very easy Yeah. Uh, for a screen reader user. I think even so far that we've seen though that the header ID combinations are useful and that you're able to associate um, the information that's in a particular table cell with the header that uh, uh, contains the column that it's Absolutely. in yeah. and its role. And the reason that we're doing this, particularly in this test, is to show the, uh, the need to retain those attributes oh, within definitely. the new um, HTML5 uh, specification, you know. And the one other thing I would say that may be um, kind of relevant at this point, the amount of websites that don't correctly mark up their tables is phenomenal. So all these JAWS reading commands that we're using today to correctly read a table just don't work, you know. Yeah. Um, without that, that without that, without that, 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 that.